Hello, welcome to Wednesdays again. What are you reading? Today we're going to be talking a little bit about some Mother Goose rhymes, tying in a little bit with the idea of character that we've been working on on Tuesdays this month. Now, Mother Goose rhymes and nursery rhymes have been a part of my childhood. Yours too? They've been part of my childhood too, and I still remember a lot of them even today. So do I, and so Stephen and I are going to have a little Mother Goose off to see <laughs> if we can remember different rhymes just off the top of our heads. So one that I remember is Jack and Jill went up the hill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack, Jack fell down, down and, and broke his crown, crown and, and Jill came, came tumbling, tumbling after. Mm -hmm. I got one also, it's um, called Little Bo Peep. Okay. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and, and they'll, they'll come, come home, home wagging, wagging their, their tails, tails behind, behind them. them. Mm -hmm. I know another rhyme. It's not really a person, but it's an egg. <gasps> Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. <laughs> we could do that both in American and in and Scots English. I know, it's nice that sometimes nursery rhymes cross over cultures. Mm, exactly. Yep. Uh, you were telling me earlier about a nursery rhyme that you also did a dance to? Okay, and not a, yeah, a dance, a sort of, uh, uh, what we did was, it's called the Grand Old Duke of York. Can mm -hmm. I, I'll say it first? Yeah. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. So what happens? We get two rows of people and they face each other. And the first couple, they go, they go up the row. Between the, between two, the rows. two rows. Mm -hmm. And back again. Mm -hmm. And they do that two times. Mm -hmm. And then what they do is then they pair off and they go round in a sort of a big circle. On and the then, back uh -huh. of each row. Yep. Yeah, okay. And then they meet up and make an archway. Like this? Uh-huh. Okay. And then everyone else can go underneath them. Mm -hmm. So that what happens is there's a new people, a new set of people who are the standing at the beginning. And then they do the same thing and, and it keeps on going until everyone's had a chance to be the archway. Could you say the rhyme one more time? Okay. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Hmm. And we often used to sing it along as rather just uh, saying it uh, in rhyme. Hmm. Hmm. That's a good idea. I remembered one about um, Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her, <laughs> put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. Gosh. <laughs> I also remember old Mother Hubbard lived, lived in, in a, a cupboard. cupboard Gave her poor dog a bone. Went to fetch a bone. Do went to fetch her, her poor dog, dog, her dog a, a bone. bone. When she got there, the cupboard the was bare, bare, and the poor dog didn't get numb. Yes. So <laughs> nursery rhymes sort of tell stories too. You were tell. Uh, how about little Jack Horner? Little Jack Horner sat in the corner, eating his Christmas pie. He put in his thumb, and he pulled out a plum. And, and said, what, what a, a good boy am I. I. And little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, tuffet eating, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and, and frightened Miss Muffet away. away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you think of any others? Um, How about, um, do you know, Little Boy Blue or Jack Spratt or Wee Willy Winky or... Um, I remember Wee Willy Winky. Yeah? Wee Willy Winky running through the town upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown. And then Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, that lamb, lamb was, was sure, sure to go. go. Yes. Or Ba Ba Black Sheep, have, have you any, any wool? wool? Yes, yes sir, yes sir, three, three bags full. One for my master, and one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. And many of Mother Goose rhymes are set to tunes. So we're going to be sharing more Mother Goose rhymes as we go along. And here's a challenge for you. Can you have your students memorize a Mother Goose rhyme and then film it and send it in to us? That would be really I cool. Think, I think that would be really cool indeed. Yes. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.